Welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, still a bit under the weather, so I've decided uh, that we will wait till next week to uh, do the contest so we get five days in. But I'll go ahead and make some videos for this week. Um, if you have not yet, please subscribe, as you will need to be subscribed to be in the contest. Um, and please share these out on Facebook so we can get more people into it. Uh, today's video, The Andy Griffith Show, The Real Reason, Andy Taylor Couldn't Get Married. And away we go. And on The Andy Griffith Show, throughout the show's eighth season, not a single person on the show got married. In particular, Andy. Uh, he remained a bachelor all throughout the series. And here's why. It took a while for Andy, the Andy Griffith Show writers, to find the right partner for uh, Andy Taylor. Uh, they tried with uh, Ellie Walker, then with Karen Moore, uh, who was Selma Lou's cousin from out of town. Nurse Mary Simpson didn't work out, and neither did Nurse Peggy McMillan, who seemed that she might be a keeper, but was uh, on the series one moment and then was gone. Finally, teacher Helen Crump came along in the third season and never left Andy's side. Arthur Richard Kelly considered that what set uh, Helen Crump apart from the others in the 81 book, The Andy Griffith Show, Helen Crump solved the show's problem with women. Uh, she was attractive, intelligent, warm-hearted, sensitive, and always very proper. Unlike Ellie, she was never, never aggressive and threatening to Andy's masculine superiority. And unlike Joanna Moore, Nurse Peggy, she was not a sexual creature who needed to be dealt with in romantic terms. She was Andy's girl, but she could have been his sister. And I'm going to tell you, I disagree with this, because I thought Helen was a lot, lot more aggressive towards Andy than Ellie ever thought to be, but that's my opinion. Now, it just didn't work on the show to have a sheriff of Mayberry married off. As one of the show's stars, Jack Dodson, who played Howard Sprague, uh, told Richard Kelly, it is a tremendous hindrance to the writer to have married characters because it deprives the writer of the freedom to create circumstances. Kelly reported Dotson as saying, a character needs to, to move from one environment to another and he would not always be believable if he was married. In the end, Kelly opined, the real marriage on the Andy Griffith show was between Andy and Barney, who in many respects were the original odd couple. After five seasons of courtship, Helen and Andy got married, uh, except it was on uh, Mayberry RFD. On a newer program, actor Ken Berry takes over for Andy uh, as the moral compass. In the show's first season, Andy and Helen marry. Aunt B, now with a, without a home to care for, prepares to go live with her sister, who is in another state. Instead, Sam asks if she would be open to moving to the family farm and to help him raise his son. Aunt B continued on, as did other show characters, Goober, Howard, and Emmett. Now, in real life, Griffith and Helen Crump, actor uh, Anita Corso, were romantically involved, to the point that he asked her to marry him several times. This time it was her, and not the show's writers, who said no to marriage. As author Daniel Devise noted in 2015 book, Andy and Dawn, The Making of a Friendship and Classic American TV Show, Andy would have to settle for marrying Helen Crump in the glare of studio lights. But he and Anita would remain friends for life. And that's what I got for you. I really do appreciate you guys being here. I'm not feeling real well, so I'm going to sign this off pretty quick. Please subscribe if you have not. Please share these on Facebook. Uh, God bless. Have a great day. And I'll be praying for you. Mm -hmm.